I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. Find a posture, a way of being in your body that's comfortable for you. Just this alone can be an expression of awakening. You know, there's a saying, take the fruit as the path. Imagine, you know, the most enlightened ways of being you can imagine, and then give yourself over to them in the present, including in how you might move your body to sit more comfortably how you might establish your intention with, with a certain dignity and self-respect. How might you breathe? How might you take a breath? You might establish intention. You might say to yourself something that I say to myself from time to time, uh, for the sake of all beings, may I be wakeful in this life. So as we meditate, we are remaining present. And as we remain present, undistracted, unpreoccupied, we become more aware of our own mind we learn things about it. And as we remain present, we gradually train in or shift our way of being in life so that we can become like this more often. If it's comfortable for you, be aware of your breathing, especially the internal sensations of air flowing in, the chest rising, the belly opening, and then air flowing out and the chest falling. See what it's like to rest in awareness of breathing 
and letting go of desires to pay attention to anything else. As you breathe, see if you can get a sense of your chest as a whole. And then let awareness widen to include your whole body. Be aware of the sense of openness or spaciousness in experience, sense of an opening in all directions, resting present as this opening, as this openness. not getting conceptual about it. Just simply being established in a stability of spaciousness while remaining in touch with your body.
that sense of spaciousness might be supported by an awareness of the larger space of the room or building or outdoors you are in, just knowing there's a widening in all directions. could be a sense of vastness in which many things are occurring in awareness, many different kinds of experiences, many sensations, little thought bubbles, feelings, different things occurring. And it's all right. They're just happening in this vastness of awareness. Not trying to control anything in the mind, only remaining present and allowing the streaming in consciousness to keep on streaming however it does. Letting go the whole time. And then having established a base of mindful presence, I'm going to invite you to gently encourage two things. The first, in whatever way is good for you, is a kind of soothing, or tranquilizing of your body and mind. It can help to focus on this very much in the present, no matter what the future may hold. Finding whatever you can in the present that is soothing, Soothing of worries, soothing of stresses. <sighs> Calming, tranquilizing. And taking this quality of soothing and 
tranquilizing as an object of absorption in meditative terms, becoming concentrated in soothing and calming. I'll be quiet until I offer the second of these two suggestions in a while. Meditating on soothing and tranquilizing. You are bringing a calming kindness to yourself as you soothe yourself. Calming your stresses, calming your worries. opening to and resting in a growing tranquility.
Be aware of what could feel good about tranquility. What could feel good about soothing, gradually easing stresses and worries? What could feel good about this? That recognition of what feels good about tranquility can help to internalize it more in your brain as one of the Buddha's seven factors of awakening, tranquility. The second invitation is to become absorbed in the heart, absorbed in a sense of being open-hearted, sense of goodwill and kindness that can be woven together with an underlying inner peace and tranquility. Gently invite, gently open to a lovingness, a compassion, staying general about it, not getting sucked into any complication about any particular situation. Just meditatively becoming absorbed in a peaceful heart. You might feel your own caring for other beings flowing out of you. You might feel their caring for you flowing in. Caring, lovingness, flowing in and flowing out as you breathe.
you might have a sense of your lovingness, your goodwill, as a kind of field radiating out from you in all directions, expanding across the whole world, countless beings moving through this field. The field of your goodwill being unconditional, knowing that how you might act with different beings does depend on them. But the fundamental warm-heartedness rippling out from you does not depend on other people. What's it like to become absorbed in this peaceful, radiant lovingness.
That combination of spaciousness, peacefulness, and lovingness, however you blend them together in different ways, I find to be a very, very, very good combination for your sake and for the sake of those around you. And it's a matter of cultivating a growing stability and establishing one breath at a time, one synapse at a time, one day at a time. 